You're tuned into the BSX Digital Sports Network. Las Vegas and to everyone around the world, welcome to the Web Report for April the 9th. My name is Scott Webb. I am Beam Em Up Scotty. I am your host of the show. Catch the show on the VSX Digital Networks and on VSXDigitalSportsNetwork.com. Follow along on Twitter. My handle is at Webby20MLB and all sports, no bull. Today's agenda is going to be a recap from yesterday's performance uh, of the games. And then we're going to talk a little bit about the learnings we've gotten so far from uh, this season. Uh, Not that it's that deep into the season, but we need to talk about what we're picking up. And then we're going to employ that in today's strategy. And then we're going to have picks today. Today's agenda was brought to you by the Riffer app. Now listen to the show on the Riffer app. Get into micro podcasting. Get it. Get the information you need quick and to the point. No more boring sports talk. Download the Riffer app from your app store today. So the recap yesterday, we played on two games, both small dogs. The first game was Arizona at or Colorado. Arizona at Colorado. We chose Arizona yesterday because the pitching matchup favored them, uh, and it was plus one ten, and they got beat pretty handily. Uh, They weren't really in the game. Um, Colorado came out, scored three runs in the first inning, had, I think, four or five straight hits, and uh, just never got uh, Arizona into the game. In fact, there was a no-hitter going for Colorado for, I think, five innings yesterday. And the pitcher, uh, John Gray, uh, was velocity-wise off yesterday. He normally throws 95 to 97. He was in the 92-93 range, so... um, he should have been able to be a hit yesterday, and, and that's going to lead into one of our learnings that we're going to go over here in a minute. But as a recap, we started off 0-1 yesterday, and then the evening game that we played was uh, rotation number 915. This was the Los Angeles Angels at the Toronto Blue Jays, and the we played on the Angels at plus 111 yesterday. This was Griffin Canning getting the start and, and against Ross Stripling. Um, and we we uh, handled this game pretty well, uh, handicapped it pretty good. Um, we were ahead when Ross Stripling left the game, um, and then um, Toronto tied tied the game up against the uh, bullpen for um, the Angels. Went into extra innings, and then we won the game in extra innings. So we ended up going one and one yesterday with a slight profit there, uh, in a sense that um, we played two dogs, and uh, one of them won, one of them lost. The plus one eleven was the winner. Uh, so if you're looking at units, it was a point oh one one units yesterday. So you know you you, you didn't win much. Of it. You won a cup of coffee, but at the same time, um, that's where the recap kind of leads us into some other things. Today's recap, though, was brought to you by Bugatti. Bugatti is a premium line of men's clothing. I often wear Bugatti shirts. In fact, I have one on again today. So as we go in through the uh, results from yesterday, we, we're creating some things in terms of learnings that we need to start looking at. One of the things that I thought was pretty important and that we should probably go over, I'm getting clicking on my click screen here, is that we have um, offense is winning. So if you look at the top, say, six to eight teams in Major League Baseball in offense, Those teams are the teams that are winning. It doesn't matter what kind of pitching they're throwing out there. And in some cases, they're throwing really good pitching too. Um, Cincinnati leads the way. Houston, then the Dodgers, Minnesota, the White Sox, the Phillies, just in that order. Now, when I put them in order, I put them in order based off weighted runs created plus. That is a measurement off of a 100 number being average. And for example, Cincinnati as a team is 172. 
that means they are 72% better than an average offense. So we want to be on a team that's 72% better on offense than a team that's uh, just even average on offense. Currently, there are only 12 teams that are 100 or better. So that means there are 18 teams that are below average. So we want to be looking at the teams that are below average, bet against those teams. The teams that are above average, we want to bet on those teams. But we also want to try to work into the idea of the starting pitchers, and then we have to look at the price. You don't ever want to pay more than what you need to pay to get these teams in. So we'll talk about that as we start to look at today's strategy. And today's strategy is brought to you by Fubo TV. Try seven days free for a Fubo, no credit check, no deposit, and no hidden fees. So today's strategy, we are going to employ our learnings, and we're going to go and look at two games. Um, the first one is a game with the Philadelphia Phillies, and they are traveling to the uh, Atlanta Braves. And what I liked in this particular spot was that um, the Phillies are the number – six team in baseball in offense weighted runs created plus was 116 and Atlanta is the 29th rated offense and they are at 49 okay well 49 means um, if you look at uh, the 100 as being average they are 51 percent worse than an average offense currently and that's what we want to look at we want to look at current information we don't want to look at stuff that's season long and for example, in, in May, it doesn't matter what these guys are doing the first week of April. It matters what they're doing at that first in that week of time in May. So we're going to be looking at these things and employing these strategies as we go forward. So we have a big edge, we feel, in the fact that Philadelphia has got an offensive advantage over um, Atlanta in this game. And then when we looked at the pitching, you have Zach Wheeler against Charlie Morton. Now, Charlie Morton in his last seven starts is a game score 49, and we've talked about game score a lot. Game score 50 is average, and he's been right at the average. So he, although he's a good pitcher, he has not been a performing pitcher over his last seven starts. Zach Wheeler, last seven starts, game score 60. His game score gives him an idea and gives you an idea that he's an ace performer, I do not expect him to pitch the way he did his very last time out, uh, which was an awesome start. Uh, he pitched seven innings, only gave up one hit, and struck out 10. I do expect this game to, to flip a little bit to the fact that he's going to get hit some, but I do expect the Philadelphia Phillies to continue to hit, and I, do, I did like the idea that we're getting this team as an underdog today. So we're going to be on them as a value today. Um, at plus 107 is the line that we got for that game. The second one that we're going to be playing today is going to be the Cincinnati Reds. And we talked about them on the offensive sheet. The Cincinnati Reds are um, a team that is the number one offense in baseball currently. And you want to bet on those guys as, and, and ride that wave with them as much as you can. So we're going to do that today. They play the Arizona Diamondbacks, just the team we were talking about that we were on yesterday. The Arizona Diamondbacks are now one of the worst offenses in baseball, and we're going to go against that with the number one offense in baseball. And we also have a pitching matchup that favors us. Tyler Maley pitches for the Reds, and over the, his, the last seven starts, his game scores a 58, um, and he's been pretty, pretty good. Uh, 58 is pretty close to ace-like. Tyler Widener is the guy pitching for the Diamondbacks. This will only be his second start ever. Um, he was a relief pitcher, and now he's in a spot where he's going to be a starting pitcher. He pitched six innings in his first time out. Didn't pitch poorly, but he's not got major league, you know, 98 mile an hour fastball, that kind of thing. He's very hittable. So I expect the Reds offense to be able to, uh, continue to do what they've been doing. I expect them to be able to score some runs. And I think that puts a lot of onus on the um, Arizona offense to try to figure it out. Plus their best player, uh, Cattell Marte, is not going to be in the lineup today. 
So I, I like those two plays. And all of our wagers today have been brought to you by you wager. So if you like the plays and you want to go um, do the same things that I wagered on today, just go to you wager, tell them I sent you. And then when you collect your money, um, tell them thank you. Have a great day, everyone.